everybody, it's your daily hour with me. We're on TV once again, once a day. Every day. We turn on the machines and we start talking to me for an hour, yeah. Do you want to say anything? Viewers, now's your chance. Well, In fact, you have the, I think the viewers, they say things all the time. You're probably saying stuff right now. Probably. You don't need a mic. You can hear yourself. And the people around you can hear you from where you are. We need these mics because otherwise, this is where. Oh, see, with no mic, you can't hear us. So we need mics. You don't need mics. That's how talking and TV works. We're on this other side of the TV. In here on TV, you need mics talking. You don't over there. But if you want to participate, the number is 360 836 4384. You can see the number right over there. Speak into the mic at your home. In your pocket, maybe. Those oh. mics are, work too. Yeah. The mic in your pocket. It is. Uh, Saturday. Sat oh, Saturday. Yeah, I had to think about it. You, but you knew what I was trying to think. I could have said it's great. But yeah, it's Saturday. It's a great day for you. It's a great day, and it's Saturday. Um, it's it, it, it's a great day, and it's Saturday. Saturday, what a great day. And it's uh. Like usual days, maybe sure. Yeah, we're we're getting towards uh, Hanukkah still. I think Hanukkah is seven days long, and it's one, two, three, four, five, day five. So two more days left. Hi, Carl. How are you doing today? Swell. Great. Did you see anything on the streets today? I saw a whole lot of stuff at TCTV. Uh. Huh? Yeah, uh, d helping out with the uh, um, the Christmas program, and people um, or kids called in and wanted to talk to Santa, and their uh, voices w were kind of somewhat muffled. I thought it was kind of funny, Xander. Um, um, Dan's grandson. Dan's grandson, yeah, um, was uh, uh, kind of shy on the microphone with uh, Santa, but when um, uh, we panned to go back to the uh, craft table, there was a craft table to make um, candy canes with um, you know, uh, rain uh, pipe cleaners and um, like uh, googly eyes to, uh -huh. to create reindeer out of the um, uh, uh, the candy canes and there were snowflakes that we also uh, that they also created um, um, w once uh, the, the camera panned away from Mr. and Mrs. Claus and Xander uh, Xander was like really talking to Santa Claus and uh, I could hear the uh, people in the control room like uh, oh, now he's talking to, uh, now Xander wants to talk to Santa. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that that's the case with a lot of kids. Maybe they just get kind of anxious when all the attention's on them, and they just don't have anything to say until, you know, uh, you're in the back room or, you know, in the... Uh, the dressing room, you know, the Ola the mirror, you know, the um, lights around uh, a mirror, or you know, you got um, talking to Santa as you're walking uh, to the um, uh, lobby or whatnot. Uh, then the attention is off of you and you know the subject, and you know the two or three person conversation that you're trying to have on you, you know on the uh, stage on in the studio um, I guess I can kind of understand it but hopefully Xander can kind of uh, hopefully maybe it's up to him surely hopefully and he can hopefully maybe surely in some case it's kind of up to him but you know he can uh, just get in front of the cameras more and more often. get over it Xander yeah and Come on. He, he certainly has got um, of uh, 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 family relatives, you know, uh, specifically Dan, that works at TCTV, that he has kind of like uh, this free reign to kind of get uh, over butterflies. So uh, good luck to you. 
Get over your butterflies, Xander. Spread your wings and fly. And he probably will. Just gotta give him time, I guess. Well, don't get your hopes up. Well, I'm not hoping for anything. Okay. He, I mean, I mean, he, he can do whatever he wants. Maybe he wants to be a neurophysicist, which, you know, that's probably in the totally opposite direction of, like, TV production. Did you ask Santa what, uh, for, for things? Did you, did you get asked? Oh, I didn't get asked. I was operating uh, the uh, one of the cameras. Oh, so you were hiding? You know, I was hiding myself, yeah. Didn't want to say hi to Santa. I'm an earthworm, yes. Hello. Except now, I, now I'm in the capacity to be in front of the com camera and say, uh, hello, Santa, uh, maybe I could get, um, um... Oh, what would you like for Christmas, girl? Maybe I could get, uh, world peace, yeah. <laughs> world <laughs> peace from Santa Claus. <laughs> well, Santa doesn't necessarily make world peace in his head. Maybe you could have for something in his head. Okay. <laughs> Crying kid, yeah. Uh, I always asked Santa for a cheeseburger. I would call... You can't eat cheese or burger somehow these days. But I called... I would always call them. Yeah, you, you might have Santa say, that'll put your eye out, you know, like in the reference to uh, A Christmas Story. We used to call... We used to do the program here at the same time they were doing the program. The yes. program. And then we would probably have t uh, uh, what TNT or TBS or whatever run it for like a, a 24 hours straight, you know. We always called them. Gosh. And we said, Santa, uh, I want a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. Say, okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do other kids ask for? What's the popular... <sighs> Seem to be I, frozen. I, I, I heard like uh, um, video games. Yeah, like not really like an Xbox. I I don't know. Uh, uh, PlayStation. I don't like Nintendo. I don't know. I've, I've, I'm sometimes uh, when I get on the program, I I just like burn my mind before the program. So I just. Open my mom mind up to possibilities, uh -huh. and I don't really want to come on the program to say anything. I mean, because why do that? You know, if you're if you, the subject that you want to talk about never comes up, so oh uh, yeah, you don't have a plan, or y you know, you'll be kicking yourself. You know, as you walk from the studio, it's like. Uh, or drive from the studio. It's like, oh, I forgot to talk about uh, such hey, and such. Yeah, don't plan things. It's, it would be hard if you started planning. What would you, what would you do? It would be nerve wracking. It'd be hard to do. We would turn on the shoot. We're like, oh, I, for I forgot the plan. Line script. Yeah, we don't remember the plan. We don't have a plan. We sit here and we <laughs> sometimes when the thing's going, <laughs> you know, it's counting down to the program. We're like five, four, three, two. Oh, oh, here, uh oh. Uh, so, what, but what did the kids ask for? You didn't, you don't remember? Is that, you tried, is this why you went on to this thing about, about <laughs> not remembering things? Yeah. Things? <laughs> no, n n specifically not trying to remember too much of anything. They didn't ask for a pony? Uh, oh, somebody asked between a dog and a stuffed dog. And, oh. They want uh, something be in between that? Uh, well, we can't put really a, a, a live animal in, in the sleigh. You'll probably have to ask your parents about that, and it will probably be somewhat of a responsibility or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it is. Live animals are a responsibility. Anybody, they said stuffed dog? Y yeah, that's, that's w what the confusion was. Do you want a stuffed animal, or do you want, you know, do you want a. a, a stuffed puppy? A, a or live do you want one. A live puppy. Or maybe a stuffed. Lie like a dead one that's stuffed, like a uh, taxidermy. Uh, ugh. You don't like taxidermy? Isn't your taxidermy? No, I, I hate taxes. Ha ha ha. No, but, no, but taxidermy, though, you know? Right. How, uh, how do you feel about taxidermy? Well, uh, you, you could cer certainly fill it with uh, all those uh, little styrofoam beads, and maybe that will make the uh, stuffed animal better. 
taxidermy animal? What are you, are you talking yeah, about? taxidermy for with styrofoam beads in it. Is that what you want for Christmas, Carl? Taxidermy things? Taxidermy to animals? Uh, I'll start with a worm and work my way up. Taxidermied worm, huh? <laughs> hey, it's time for the first <laughs> dice game. I don't know if you could taxidermy a worm. I think they're too small. They don't really have skin. Do worms have skin? I don't really know. I uh, don't believe so. Let's get a pet. Well, what is that? What's this? Oh, that's right. What's the stuff on the outside I'm of their... the gun. What's Help this? me. Help me. <laughs> what's the stuff on the outside of their body? If not skin, though. Maybe it's still skin. Worm skin? I would call it cellulose. Cellulose, but, not skin? that is a lie, because Carl doesn't know. I think cellulose is a plant thing. Cr um, well... Well, uh, amulolos, am then. Okay. Yeah, maybe, I don't know what that is, so maybe it's that, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what cellulose is either. I just think it's a plant thing. That's just a guess, kind of. Maybe I should write a book saying, How do you BS your way through life by me, Carl? Cellulose, amulolos. Yeah, I don't I mean, you're going to write a whole book about that? Because if you can... Write a book? Well, no, just what that one specific topic, but a whole range of topics. How to do that? If you don't know science, you could say, I'm uh, n nuclear... Well, anyway, i got to put that on the microphone. I don't I don't think you could BS your way through science. Hey, George Constanza does it with uh, architecture. You know, he's like, I'm an architect. Uh, well, I think they cut that out. He says he does it, but they, still, they don't show that on the camera. I think it's much harder to do than you could. Maybe when we get back from uh, the dice game here, after Carl gets the, the camera in the dice game, he can tell us about some kind of science that he doesn't know about and see how long we can time him. <laughs> see if we can, he can uh, BS for at least, I mean, like two two or three minutes. I mean, I don't think he, he could just start BSing for two or three minutes. That's a lot of talk, space talk. Whoa, here it goes. Three. I lost. I lost. Two. I have a two also today. What? That is impossible. Impossible. It happened. We did the impossible. We picked twos at the same time. Im we've, we've broken reality. Again. So, hey, Carl, how about that uh, biological subspecies? Uh, I, I, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, how about it? Uh, e, uh, uh. <laughs> How to boy ass BS yourself through? Uh, 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 that's not. Uh, uh. And so the, the contents of the book would be blank pages. Yeah. Or just <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 on the on the page. Yeah. Here, here, let's call Freddie the producer. Find out how the production end is going. Say, hey, happy Hanukkah. Plug yourself in, though. Oh, good idea. Did you ever go visit Santa Claus as a child? Yeah, I <laughs> probably had one of those not quite so elaborate like uh, Peter Billingsley character had on going down to... What's that, the Peter, Peter Billingsley? The uh, Hello, character Freddy? in... Uh, Kristen? Kristen! Yeah! It's the program! Hola! Como oh, esta? Program. We're on hey, program! Hi, we're on TV. How are you doing today? I'm really good. How are you guys? Oh, real good too. Thank you. That's good. Freddie and I um are uh well. Oh yeah, we just played columns. What's Have that? Columns. Yeah. Do you play that, Carl? You know, columns is. Of. Uh, is it? It's, um, is it like Jenga? Maybe. It's like kind of like Tetris in a way. Oh, yeah, sure. It's a, it's a different version, um, and you can pick instead of like blocks, you can pick what type of blocks that you stack. So you could, um, you can have like fruit, or you can have dice. You can have dice. Oh yeah. One of them. That's it, like the hardest one is to stack dice because it's hard to tell because the graphics are so old. It's from 1990. Is it a video game? Mm-hmm. Columns. Yeah. Um, Freddie, what system did the columns on? Sega Master 
Sega Master System. Oh, Sega Master System. Yeah, that is old. That's from, the, that's from like, 88. Yeah. And we have, we have it in our hallway at the Martin. Ooh. And I think it's only the only game, or maybe it's the only game that's ever in. So. Calm. It's, it's just there so you can walk in the hall and you can play it when you want it's uh, it's the third day of Hanukkah, or fifth day, fifth day of Hanukkah. Oh, really? Yeah, for for our, the viewers. Happy, um, happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, yeah. Do you? Uh, today it doesn't have to do with Hanukkah, but we, Freddie did, um, like, Yo Santa on, on um. TV. Yeah, we were talking. Carl was there too. Yeah, Carl was there. Carl was filming with the camera, and I was doing some crafts at the craft station. Uh huh. Um, and Freddie was the producer. It was kind of weird. It was cool, I guess. Um, I asked Carl. He said he doesn't really remember. But what 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 was the popular gift with the kids? What are they? They what do they want? Um, what were the crafts? No, what are the... Gifts. What do the kids want for... Cri like, is there any, any... Oh, they all want Legos and, like, DSs and iPods and stuff. iPods? Lots of iPods and... There's only five people that called in. Oh. <laughs> oh, six, but... Some of them are multiple, multiple kids. Okay. <laughs> One call hit... Or two calls, at least, had multiple kids in, on it, yeah. Yeah, so they were kind of like passing the phone, and but mo there was like iPod, DS, and then there was like some Legos. What? Spaceship and a train. Oh yeah, someone wanted it. There was a cool kid that wanted a spaceship. Oh yeah, a, 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 a female, and she's uh, Santa was like, well, maybe she'll become an astronaut one day. Ha ha. And ha ha. He, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Why was it Santa a joke? Well, it wasn't a joke. It was more like, you know, hopefully this person can, you know, gr graduate to, you know, get up to the stars or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, Santa was pretty cool. He was encouraging. He told me to talk about Evergreen, how I wanted to go there. Is it you, you asked Santa, you asked Santa for admission? What? You asked Santa for admission? Yeah, I, I, I did. I told Santa <laughs> that I wanted to get into Evergreen for business. I <laughs> and then he said, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always ask, yeah, I always ask for a cheeseburger because we used to call Yo Santa on the program when, when it was available and I would ask Santa for uh, a cheeseburger every year. I wish that... Um, you could call. You could have called in. Yeah, well, we called in in years past. Hey, uh, is, can, can Freddie hear? Yeah. What? When yeah, did it, it happened in, on the first, uh, the first December thirteenth of the program. Oh yeah, the first one, huh? Yeah, the first one, um, December thirteenth, two thousand ten, actually. Ooh, wow. Well. Uh, what the episode is called? Yeah, I could go. I would like to go to the. I mean, maybe next year. I'll have to remember. Cheeseburger. Well, that's, that's che like today's date, but that's 2014. Yeah. That's interesting. Cheese cheeseburgers. Um, you uh, you see anything else on the, you see anything on the streets or like, any any elves? Carl, you weren't an elf. No. Nope. We we saw on the streets today. There's um, well the 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 parking downtown. There's like no parking. Uh -huh. And we had to drive like four blocks or five from our house or something far, and and I found out why it's because there are nutcrackers going on, Ooh. and um, apparently there's no machines outside of the center. outside of the place where the nutcracker is. So, you, so we're outside. You can, oh, hey, uh, it's uh, info time. Oh. oh. Uh -huh. Now it's no, info, it's time. info time. 
Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're experiencing it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's called Hyper Live, our long call in television talk show on the radio that's recorded in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 300. 300- 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. YDHWM began on September 19, 2010. It types in the week in advance so you're watching this on TV or listening on the radio, Low Power FM 106.5. It taped it the same day of the previous week. If you um, uh, hear about this on TV, <laughs> this episode taped the same day of the month of the last year. You could also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone could come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for watching, and now back to the program. Uh, we're already back. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, Freddie, you know what's something funny? I just noticed my info time. Is that it says 365 days a year spelled out. But then it says 366 in numbers. Hello? What? <laughs> it says 365 in in letters spelled out, and then it goes 366, and it's in numbers. Um. <laughs> it, it's, it's spelled out 365 in text. 365 is written out. And it says 366 in numbers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, y- you you hey. would ra- rather want to pick either numbers <laughs> it's, it's or confu- letters. It's very confusing, which is okay. Letters or numbers. It's okay to be confusing. But I'm I'm confused because I'm confusing Carl. Carl. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Welcome Carl. to it. It's just Carl. Hello. He's confused We're a lot. We're on the program. Once a day, every day, we turn on the machines and we start talking. Oh, uh, that, yeah. <laughs> Carl's getting really confused. For an confu- hour. Carl's getting really confused. Oh. Um, uh, Sorry. So, uh, how about that production end over there? <laughs> but, buddy, he's... We're... <laughs> he's turning on the old episode. Oh. He's saying... We're watching your daily hour with me. Um, it's on the 18th. On the 18th of yo... It's Yo, Santa. 2010. On the couch. Yeah, we've been on the couch the whole time. Since that time, 2010. Carl, Carl, you're not here. (laughs) We're not on the couch. Carl's not. Well, well, no, I wasn't born yet. Carl hasn't been around. Carl didn't show up until 2012. I I was a product product of a miracle birth at 2012. (laughs) And I was kind of intermittent, but then I like became a permanent, somewhat permanent fixture on the couch. <laughs> Sometimes I like disappear, but I'm still on the program, even if I yeah, disappear. that's right. Every day. <laughs> and you, you were you were a fantastic camera operator for the Yosana show. Oh now, well, I just I there was some, do my um, job. Someone was asking about the production end. Is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, the production end is going really good. Uh, we're scheduled out on YouTube and on um, TCTV and on the radio. Great. And then um, we got the website up to date. Everything's going really good. In fact, we had a really <laughs> exciting thing happen production end today, which was. Um, we got a piece of Dance to Dance history added to our Dance to Dance, um, I guess, bag of tricks. Ooh. So um, we're we're coming up on the next Dance to Dance in January, the first of the year, and um, probably going to be on the, the ninth. And today, someone brought um, me these lights. They're t- they're called disco lights, and um, we. <laughs> They like can hear sound and they would change colors according to the sound. That's fantastic! Wow, yeah, they're really big. They're huge lights. And that's gonna be on and the then, on the ninth, right? What? That's on the ninth. <coughs> that's on the ninth. Oh yeah, the ninth. Yeah. Where's that pen? Here's one. 
So we're going to have some crazy disco lights. Look for those in the night there, everybody, 9th of January. Would that be somewhat permanent fixture of Dance Holy Dance, or is that just like a one-time thing? We should, uh, yeah, we should probably do another thing. Like, uh, you know, in the past we've done science fairs and uh, maybe po potluck. What, what we need to do a science fair? Wait, science or is this another event? Well, for for the ninth for the program. Oh, find something maybe, special to do on the ninth. Maybe maybe science fair, maybe potluck. Maybe what? Potluck. Oh, a potluck. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or uh, what? What else? What else? Anything? We want potluck. We don't have any other ideas. It's like they're trying to think of a special thing to do for the night on the program. We have science fairs or like special events. I like potluck. Potluck. Uh, we we could say happy uh, happy <laughs> year 2015. Oh yeah. Well, I don't it'll, know. that's that that's we'll do both. It's already what n nine days old. Polar plunge. Hey, we could do a not polar nine, plunge. But What's that? I don't know. Polar plunge. That's where you jump into the water. And it's cold. We can pour a bucket of water on you. Mm. Oh. No, thank you. Yeah. I don't want to do that. That sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> well, Especially really the you're supposed to do in the New Year is you're supposed to do the polar plunge. Uh, what? Why? Why? Why, why? why do people do that? <laughs> because they want to feel alive, I like guess. Coming fresh for the New Year. Yeah, you're washing yourself clean of all the bad, horrible things, or, I don't actually know. Have you done but that before? Anyway, I haven't done it before, yeah. You have? You jump into the Puget Sound, and it's Ooh. Like so cool. And did you wash that, away all of your past history? That is not a good place to wash yourself of anything. <laughs> I was lucky enough that I was doing it in, like, the north Puget Sound, where it's not, it doesn't seem as dirty. Okay. There, that is here. Isn't that where Canada, though? Canada is, like... I uh, guess it's probably just as dirty. It just seems more dirty mm, here. To no, like it, it's concentrated but, here. Yeah, because... Uh, this, the, 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 this is the end of the whole thing, so it's very concentrated, I think. The water doesn't actually circulate as much down here as it does, you know, like right. over in Seattle, I'm sure. Yeah. So here, I feel like maybe we... Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do it. Here. I think people go into lakes. I think there's a lake that they do it at, actually, around here. Oh, they do it in the lake. Uh -huh. but there are a couple of lakes, it's like is Black that, um, Lake and some. I lake. guess it's okay. You just get, you just jump in, then you jump right out and you warm up. But is is that dangerous? It seems almost dangerous. Well, actually, well, I heard that um, my there's this person who I knew for a while, and when I lived in Kirkland, and and he did, he jumped in the lake in Lake Washington every single day. And he lived until he was like 90 something really old and he said that that I they said that or he would he thought that that it like helped him every day in his life. Oh. But the thing was that what the way the craziest thing to that story is like the way he died which he ended up drowning in the lake. Oh, but he was, was like, but like ever, I knew him throughout like for years and years and years, and he did it every single day, even in the winter, and and I really thought it like helped his like longevity. Yeah, like he it like helped in like every morning he'd do it, and it would like be like like a wake a good wake way to wake up or whatever. For yeah, him. but that, and then he he drowned while he was doing that though. I think uh, they don't know how he drowned, but I, he was like, yeah, probably like either there or just like slipped into the water or something. Oh wow! Well. He was like nine, like <laughs> almost like almost a hundred. Oh like, wow! Oh. Well, that's long. I mean, I don't want to say that's long enough. That's what I said, but uh, that's pretty long. That's a long time to live, really. So yeah, I just I feel like it's it's like a good thing, but. Well, on the other hand, it could be said that, you know, people would be thrown into hypothermic shock. You know, yeah, when you I mean, instantly hit cold water. Yeah, but 
if you're in if there he, for long enough. You, yeah, well, if he kept but, on doing it through through the season. But you just jump in and jump right back out, and then you dry off, so then you don't get time to shock, I guess. But hey, yeah. it's, it's uh, time for yeah. the second dice game. What kind of number do you want? Betty says six, and I say three. Yeah, you have 500 points, Scarcely already. I have 500 points already. <laughs> I haven't got, I haven't, I guess three every time, and I haven't gotten points for, like, three m- months. That's what Dan uh, Bennett does, too. Hey, uh, five was... Two fives. Two fives. Dan guesses three every time. Wait. <laughs> you better find out. Does Dan guess three every time? Dan Bennett does that also, yeah. Three? Yeah. And he hasn't won any points? Oh, no, he's won sometimes. And Charlie, that's Charlie's number two. Charlie the dog. Oh, really? Charlie, why is Charlie six three? I don't remember. It was probably rolled from at one time. Maybe but it's some some sometime a long time ago. We decided that for some reason, and I don't remember why. Charlie's coming back on the program uh, about a uh, two weeks you, from now. Does Freddie remember why? Oh wait, or does he have four fingers? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you I can't, I think it was. I think it was arbitrary. I think you just. Yeah. Um, I think you picked a number. Um. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't I'm think remembering I'm remembering it wrong, though. I know it happened in the um, garage studio, though. Or no, in Sadie's, in Sadie's garage. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Charlie the, know to shake? Like, you he, tell him shake. He and does, shake. yeah. Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I don't, you know, because dogs, <laughs> dogs have, like, I think four little, uh, like, things on the end of their hand. But then they also have that, like, kind of thing, like, that's up, up on the kind of, yeah, on up, the shin, yeah. yes. Up on the shin, that's kind of the, where their thumb, it's kind of their thumb. So they have five fingers? Well, five fingers if you count the thumb thing. Or maybe, you know, no fingers because they don't really have fingers. Some some dogs Or actually, four. It could be four. You can, yes. I don't know, it's like, you can, you can think of those little nubs as fingers and then they have four. Or you can count like the weird thumb nub and then there's five. Or you can say that they don't have fingers at all, I think. Some dogs have evolved from not having that. What, the nub? Yeah, believe it or not. It went away? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's weird. I don't know why they, I mean, why they have the nub anyway, because it's like not like dogs evolved from like monkeys either or something. Well, they they evolved from some sort of maybe the mammal. nub. Maybe the nub they can they can get or, or okay. make some sleep. They can sleep on the nub, you know. When they when they lie down, they have their thumb. They have their thumb to help them lie down better. Have you been? Have you uh, approached any band or DJ? Yeah. I have not. We should. Uh, we could try to do that this time. I know that. I'm not really sure how it's been done in the past, but I could uh, take that on this this month. Well, I mean, if you could. We. I was just curious. Um, we got some ideas. There's ideas, and there's also. Um, it sounds like. <laughs> Luke might have found some kind of corn cob DJ, and then um, we also approached Vern um, about doing it, who is a regular at Dance to Dance. Um, but I don't think they can do it. Oh no! Okay, so probably, probably if, if Vern can't do it, it's gonna be the corn cob DJ. Corn cob? DJ corn cob. Apparently, Luke like. Has uh, been in contact with talk to him about stuff before. All right, that sounds that sounds good. And then he has friends who are excited about it, and they they made a Facebook a rogue dance to dance Facebook event that's yeah. called "Interested in Dance to Dance." I saw that. That's weird. I don't know why. What's with? I don't yeah, really it's so it, weird. But, I mean, I guess they're interested, so can't yeah. argue with that. All right. Um. So, so maybe DJ Corncob, but we don't have a band. Um, what? We gotta find a band, then. Well, okay, so there's, like, lots of, um, kind of, like, choices. Um, like, what? Okay, so I was telling my coworker about it, and he was just, like, like, I don't know what kind of band music he plays or anything, mm-hmm. but I was like, oh, there's this thing, and, and then he's like, I really want to do that. 
you know, but I don't even know who, what's tell, left. Like, tell, what? him, tell him to watch the program. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because, like, I was like, uh, okay. That, usually people say, like, I really want to get on TV and then watch the show, and they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, uh. And then, and then I was just like, then I didn't know what to say anymore, you know? Like, what do I say? Like, well, I, no, I think you can, you can, you can do it. It's a, like, if you want it, you can make a decision as much as anybody else can. You know, if somebody on the street just came up to me and they told me that they've made a decision about the program, I would say, all right. Like anybody, viewers, call in, make a decision. I'm tired of it. I'm yeah. Tired of, yeah. <laughs> uh. but, but you like, cause I like, yeah, I don't know. Because you could just be like, no, but then I don't know even what kind of music they play. Well, we would, we could find out. I would, I would actually like it if I had no idea. Well, unless I was very not surprised and it was just like a regular thing. Like, what if, if like, you don't, I don't know what's going on, just show up and then there's people there. I'm like, well, look at these people. <laughs> well, come on, that's my life every day, but... Yeah, other, but that's what we do every day people, here. people, they want plans. But I would like to, I guess, you see what it is, but whoever it is is fine, too, if you find whoever they want to do, if that, that band or other people. Yeah, we're, like, wondering what the best thing is, is, like, should we try and get bands that we just really love? Like, you know, like, Bacana Marimba, then you have something that you can listen to all the time and, like, it's something that you really love. Or is it, like, like for people who want a video, like, like people who want to be, like, maybe don't get a chance to play all the time and then they get a chance to play? Or is it, like, like I feel like there's lots of different ways it could go. I think it, it, it can go any way. It's not really set in stone. You can get somebody you want or... I think it's, 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 I think really it should just be whoever we can book first so that we have it, just have it something set. Yeah. And there's always, well, the, there's always the future too, so don't, don't deny. Yeah, I feel like what, and there's, we are, we, there's people that are interested that we really want to play that. Well, actually you had some competition, um, from another show, um, that, we approached a band yesterday, this band that I really love called Holy Komodo. Uh-huh. And um, so Freddie and I asked if they'd be, if they'd want to play. But it turns out that one of the band members in that band is going to be playing on uh, David, Letterman. David Letterman the day before. Wow. Back in time. Famous. But he's a but... So it was, just, it was interesting because there was some competition between TV shows. Between David, me and David Letterman, yeah, we've been competing for a while. Yeah, exactly. So we're winning though. We're, I think we're. I wonder if we we're getting more slowly, but slowly getting more episodes than they do. Yeah. Well, Letterman's about to retire. Um, I don't. Yeah. I mean, we, we should try to find a band that doesn't know anything about TV and like. Because I don't know about these bands that are like, oh, well, I'm trying to do things, you know? I want maybe the less ambitious bands, I think, instead of the request bands. I want to find the bands that are like, oh, well, I guess we could do that if you if you say so, you know? Uh, well, yeah. Same I, like people, I you have know? an idea. Yeah? Well, if anyone wants to start, like, maybe a beatboxing band. Uh-huh. No, I, hear me out. Hang on for a second. <laughs> There's there's a YouTube video. I was just thinking about this beatboxing, beatboxing. Uh, beatboxing. There's actually a YouTube video of someone recorded himself four different times. So it's on the four by four. Yeah, let's YouTube get that guy. Grid, and he was like doing um, some sort of Star Wars song. Oh and yeah. It was really, Copyright. Yeah. Well, yeah. But let's find that guy. Well, hey, but you know, oh, uh, I don't think like that guy would be very good live. Oh, is it gently dance hour? that it's not? Really no, we're talking about band or yeah. what? What are we calling it? Uh, music showcase. At, um, studio music hour. Su- yeah. Studio music hour. Yeah. Okay. Is the studio music <laughs> hour uploaded to YouTube? I mean, or it, is it? Yeah, I think so. Because uh, oh, hey, it's uh, time for a commercial break. 
dance only dance is like um, maybe it, it, muted or we, something. We'll be on the commercial, but I think that's it. Goodbye, viewers. All right. Bye. 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 Here's yep. A, oh, coming up at 11:30 and 2 a.m. on the program. I mean, Ooh. next episode of the program. We got it. Yeah. Sweet. Whoa, where are we? Oh darn it. Here we are. Oh, here. Yeah. Hi, it's everyone. It's the commercial. We're on every night, 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCD Channel 22. Um, we talk to Kirsten on the phone. We, we find a oh. place where our trophies are. We're kind of doing this little thing from last week about the, the County Awards still. Just recapping and talking to Manny and Kirsten about where the thing in there is. And it's we a, heard an extended uh, conversation with... Um, Dan Dobler. Off mic. Check it out. Three six zero. Bye. 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 Yeah, it's the back. It's the back of us. We're here, and on time. We did the commercial, and now we're talking again. Where did we go? More specifically, where did you go? Did you go to the refrigerator? Did you get a Mountain Dew, a block of cheese? Any of this things, <laughs> these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, here, let's call, um, let's call Mandy. Maybe you don't like cheese like I do. Not like cheese anymore. <laughs> you don't like cheese anymore? How's that going? How's your vegan diet going? I want to get some updates. Well, rice, rice, more rice. You, you know, gotta eat some veggies. Potatoes. Rice is vegetables, but... Is it? Yeah, well, yeah. Rice grows in the ground, like peanuts, but peanuts are really more of a nut base. It's more of a meat group. Well, you well you can't. What about beans? Eating beans? I think if you eat rice and beans together, that's like the thing you're supposed to eat. But like, not call just has been forwarded to an automated rice. voice messaging yeah. system. I know it's not healthy. Three. <laughs> Three. But, 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 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, man, it's the program. We're calling you on TV. You can call us back. You have about um, 20 minutes left to, on the program. Did you watch that thing? The uh, Cream of the, the County? Yeah, the Cream of the County Awards on <coughs> TV. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, about vegan diet. Uh, I, vegan I, don't, diet yeah. I don't really want to <laughs> Veg vegan. live, you know, healthily. It's not me trying to live healthily. It's me but trying are you to like, have you eaten less but and less of an impact on the planet. Are you feeling like you're about to pass out, though? I mean, there's nothing but rice. There's no vi I mean, are you... Well, no, I have vitamins. I, I take, you know, there's glucosamine supplements. You oh, know, if eating? I don't take... <laughs> rice and vitamin pills. Well, yeah, there you go. Um, I, uh, if I don't take, uh, my vitamins, uh, especially glucosamine, I start to feel it in my knees and whatnot, so, um. Do you? Yeah. Have you, you, have yeah, you done that? And then some people, they, they say, oh, it has no effect on me. Well, me, I, I can notice it. I think it's placebo. Well, uh, it, if that's true, then I should, you know, just, like, take... Uh, an empty pill, and it would be like. Uh, well, no, you can't take an empty pill because you know it's empty. You got to think it's real for the placebo effect to work. Well, d yes. If you think it's going to work, and then it does work. Because if you if you think it, if you're taking an empty pill and like, this is an empty pill, I'm not, and then you're not going to do anything. Bam. Yeah. Well, that's what the placebo effect is. Exactly. But I still think that my bones would know, my joints. You know, the cartilage that goes between my you know, bones. But placebo. No. Uh, okay, fair enough. You have your opinion, and I can feel my <laughs> opinion. So, well, when I feel my opinion, it's like, they are. You feel why it? are you doing this you to us, Carl? You feel placebo. You don't need to do that. Well, this. So. Was that the vitamins or your knees talking? Uh, the, 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 well, the, the vitamins don't really say anything. The vitamins they are angry? They just kind of disperse through my body. So that's your knees that are saying the... Uh, the ankles and, yeah. You're growling, they're saying, Duh, bah, 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 your knees. Yeah, they're, they're, they're 
They're kind of loud sometimes. I'm your knees! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> and I kind of have to listen to them because sometimes I walk more often on certain days than I drive. Mm -hmm. Or walk a longer distance. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. Mad knees. Yeah, they're mad. Mad not like crazy, but mad like they're angry. And I don't want to have ankle. Regular mad. Ankle or um, um, elbow knees that are just like screaming at me. Or joints or... Yeah. Well, hey, let's uh, let's check some archival messages. Yay! Let's go. Or maybe we should call Dan Dobler too. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of want to call John. What? I kind of want to call John Webster. So we'll do both of those things. First, we'll call Don Dobler, just to <phone rings> kind of say hi. How you doing? He might be around. Are you awake? Are you sleeping, Dan? He might be. He might be sleeping. It's kind of late. You've reached the voicemail box of, or the voicemail box of Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. If you'd like to leave Ooh. a callback number, press 5. Or please try again later. Goodbye. This is one of those rare times that, oh. Please leave your message for... D Oh, uh oh, 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 I'm calling the wrong number, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Uh, um. That was the wrong, that, that's the person I, that, that's Dendel Blur's old phone number, and I call that guy, like, once every, like, couple months. And then he, sometimes he answers, and, Face palm. and he says, oh, you call me again, but most of the time he just doesn't answer. This one's going to do the thing where it says either he's going to answer or the voicemail box of Dan Dobler is full. I cannot accept new messages at this time. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 5. Or please try again later. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. It wasn't picking up. But maybe... The mailbox belonging Boom. to... Dan Dobler. Is full. Is full and cannot, cannot accept, accept new messages, messages at this time. time. To leave a callback number, press 5. Or please try again later. Innocuous, but that's enough of a pretext to get someone put on the new apply list. Goodbye. Business requires you to travel. Mr. Ginsu message. Or I think he just put the phone over to the radio. I remember these ones. Uh, wow. Great. So the information is gathered up and it's got a broad sweep. So without a warrant. And in any case, the warrants are targeted at an individual. Here John Webster's residence. Targeted individual. Oh, no. Who bring it up? And then it's analyzed later. And then it's something embarrassing, awkward, emergent. Uh, well, that, yeah, and Mr. Gensu held his phone up to the radio. No one wants to talk to us? John, uh, John does. Hey, John, it's the program. Hey. What? We're on TV. Uh, I, don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. Uh. We're, we're, we're on TV, Dan. I mean, uh. John. What? We're on TV. It's the program. You don't need to know what's going on. You just need to say hi, hello, and how are, how are you doing? Hello. How are yeah, hello. How are you? Hello. John? How are you doing, John? Oh, fine. You haven't you haven't seen my apartment. You haven't seen my apartment. It's uh, all uh, all decorated up. Oh, you you decorated your apartment for Christmas? I mean, it's all decorated up. You got a tree? Lights uh, on the w by the window and everything. Sweet. What what's on the tree? Do we have an angel? An angel? Yeah, for the top. Uh, I don't have a tree because it's too. I don't. I don't have a tree in here. Oh, what do you have then? Just lights and stuff. Uh, lights on up by the win up by the windows so people can see the lights and everything. Well, Not happy lights. holidays. It's 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 Hanukkah right now, John. Pardon? It's, it's Hanukkah. No, not yet. Well, for the viewers, you know how we we're in the in the time warp thing, you know. Nope, not yet. We're in the time warp, John. It's one week ahead for us. For the viewers. Remember the time warp, John? 
What? Remember the time warp? What? What? What's that? It's like we we air we tape a week in advance, so we're back here, air in the future. We're in the future right now because it's Hanukkah. Mm. Do you want a number, sir? Mm. What number do you want, John? Pick a number for the dice game. Uh, see, you said one, see, one, six, one, two, one see, through see, six, one through six, one, two, one, two, six, okay. yes, uh, about, I'll say three, all right, here you go, oh, you have 500 points, oh, lots of fives, four fives today, at least, yeah. Three fives only. Oh, three fives and a three so far. And three fives and what was the other one? Five again? Five, 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 four fives, three six, two six, three six. Hey, John, you won. I did. Yeah. Uh, and I did. And I just said a three. Yeah, you won. Uh. Uh, what's on TV, John? Kristen what are you, did too. What are you watching on TV? I don't know. Man. Something uh, CBS anyway. You don't know what it is. Yeah. No. Are you not paying attention to it? Are you just like watching it, but you're not really watching it, or what? How do you not know what you're watching on TV? Is it is it the news? Uh, it'll be on eleven o'clock anyway. Uh, that's not for another twenty minutes. Is it a uh, a crime procedural program? What? What is it? What are you watching? You don't know what the, what the show is? No, Channel they're surfing? Advertise, they're doing advertise commercials right now. Yeah, but you don't remember it was like... Are you, are you channel surfing? No. What do you mean? No, I'm just waiting for the commercials to be over. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you... Uh, oh, you you don't watch... Oh. Did you watch the show at 11.30? Or only, oh, only at 2 a.m., right? You don't watch the show when it's on at 11.30, do you? Yeah. Uh, Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Did you did you yeah. see did you see the cream of the county awards last night? Pardon? Did you see the cream of the county awards last night from TCTV? What do you mean? Uh, I guess that I think that means you didn't see them. Most likely to me. Oh yeah, you know yes yesterday. Yesterday I was busy with everything with every every with everything uh, like. Uh, um, I went to my Democrat me meeting. I mean, Democrat holiday thing at the coach house. Uh huh. Sounds good. And then uh, after that, I went to uh, a basketball a basketball game uh, at North Hershey High School. Did they win? Uh, what? Did they win the basketball game? Uh. The. No, they lost to Link. They lost to Lincoln. Oh, by by a lot. How's the basketball team doing? Are they winning? They have a good record, or what? Uh, half and half. Uh, half and half. That's bad, right? They do. Uh, tomorrow, next uh, next week, they play uh, um, uh, Fars. Boys. Uh, the boys are at Fox and the girls are at uh, at Fox at home. I think half and half is pretty bad. That's like an F. On the other hand, the, uh, the team that is still half and half until the, you reach the playoffs, oh, you, you can start seven. to escalate or Is that not. how it works? Sometimes. I thought you have to have better better than half and half to even make it to the playoffs. I don't really know how high school basketball works. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Um, did, did you figure out what's on TV yet, John, or is it still commercial? Oh, uh, it says, tonight at 11, uh, Lindsay Shelton, uh, uh, Oh, it's 48 hours right now. It's 48 hours. 48 hours. News drama. 48 hours. 
it's real news the news. drama ding ding forty eight hours before the new before the news yeah it's forty eight hours on right now before the news okay yeah we're only we're, we're one hour forty eight hours on forty eight forty eight hours well great John uh you got anything else you want to say today you want to listen to this message we're gonna listen to, listen to Mr Ginsu message you want to hear it oh boy. I always say it to all the time. Here's oh, here's a message. Let's listen to it, okay? Yeah, we all listen to him all the time. <laughs> I got a question for you. Uh huh. When's the last time you got laid? <laughs> Whoa! Or are you a virgin? Oh God! But I we guess stumbled upon a weird one. Virgin, dude. Nothing wrong with this that. This is from July of I 2013. Guess, except for the fact that. You get no pussy. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Suckers. You don't get no mm-hmm. pussy. Oh. Are you talking you about yourself again? Jeez, Mr. Ginsu. Come on. goes along with the pussy. Oh. We're on the phone with John. After your program was over, then I, I was watching, and then I was, uh, uh, yes, yes, yesterday I was watching, um, um, I was waiting for the watch the the stuff that the stuff that was over uh, like uh, uh, watch Santa Claus and everything you know watch Santa Claus because you know uh, you call in for Santa to call in uh, yeah. for Santa Claus leave the you know and everything else yeah I was there at TCTV today we did that you know miss you know talk to Mrs uh, Santa Claus and everything oh, did you call in. You know, talk to Santa Claus, what he wants for Christmas and everything. On, on uh, I think on, I think it's on seventy, on seventy seven. No, or and then, uh, and after that, uh, they were doing the the da- the the dance with the uh, with the uh, uh, you know with all the singing with all the singing before that uh, first that. That person passed away. What's his name? Uh, now it's just uh, with uh, uh, you know the what uh, uh, the one that's on uh, Monday nights. Uh, Dan on Mon- Bennett on Monday. D- Dan and and then uh, the, Dan's the other, dead. The other person. And then uh, Dan and what is, and what? You called, said Dan uh, passed away. Is that what he said? No, oh. no, 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 uh, uh, you know, the one that produced the show, I mean, the one that, um, Carl? the one that's uh, on Monday night, the Dan. one that's on Monday night. Dan. Dan Bennett. What? Dan Bennett. Dan Bennett, and then, uh, the other one, um, Carl. His, and his part, and that partner that, uh, does the day, day, uh, does the sing, singing stuff karaoke? Uh, Robert. Oh, Robert yeah, Cam. Robert, I know. Uh, Ro- yeah, Robert Cam. Uh, they were doing that after they did. Uh, they were doing that, and then I, uh, and then it, and then I put it on, and then I had it on channel, thir- had it on channel thirteen. Great. Well, well hey, John, it's, good. it's the end I of the program. Thanks for over. talking to us on the phone. Thanks, Freddie and Kirsten. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Uh, Dan Dobler. Uh, is that everybody? Kirsten? Yeah, Kirsten. I don't show my picture anymore. Oh, yeah. You Maybe show, we should do that you again. Show your, you show the dog, Daryl. Oh, you want, you want to be the person instead of the dog. You want, Hell yeah, John. Woof, woof. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a dog. Oof, oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, here goes. <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> YDHWM, episode number and date, day of the week. Thank you. When are they going to come over again? Uh, it's pretty soon. TCTV channel 22 at 1130 and 2 a.m. Yes, YDHWM.com. Check it out. Every episode for free. Yeah, yeah. I want you, I want you to come over. I want you to come over. Okay, come three, six, zero, eight, three, six, three, one, three, three, eight, four. Why don't bring you come to the studio? Again. Bring your equipment again. Why don't you come here, crew? You guys want to be on the crew? I'm doing anything if you want, though. John, come to the studio. You come over here. Hey. UFO FBI. LaBebe. TCTV. Crystal Ball. LaBebe. 
Jordan E. <laughs> Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. You're watching. <laughs> See, John. Hell yeah, See it. dog. Woof woof. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>